Welcome back to another video. Now last week, big news came out of China and honestly, it's one of the most significant announcers we've heard in tech this year. Huawei at its Connect conference in Shanghai just laid out its semiconductor and computing roadmap for the next few years. And let me tell you, this is a roadmap that changes the playing field in AI. Now, the US sanction against Huawei was supposed to stop them dead in their tracks, right? Well, what I'm about to tell you proves the exact opposite has happened. So let's back up for a second. The whole point of US sanctions was to cut Huawei off from the cutting edge technology needed to make advanced chips. The idea was simple, no access to US tech, no way forward for Huawei, and no chance for China to keep up in AI. But a few days ago, Huawei basically stood on stage and said, actually, we're fine, thanks. Not only are they fine, they've mapped out a future that shows they're going to keep pushing forward year after year with new chips, new platforms, and new computing power. And the significance of this isn't just about Huawei as a company. This is about the entire global AI race because what Huawei have just announced proves that China is not falling behind. In fact, in some areas is pulling ahead. So what exactly was it that Huawei announced? Well, first they revealed that their Ascend AI chips will now follow an annual release cycle. That means every year a new chip. The Ascend 950 is coming in 2026, then in then the 960 in 2027 and then the 970 in 2028. Each one, they say, will roughly double in performance. But here's the thing. Huawei has developed its own high bandwidth memory, HBM, which is absolutely critical for training large AI models. That's an area where they were previously dependent on overseas suppliers like Samsung and SK Hynix. Well, not anymore. And then, on top of that, they've announced these giant super nodes. Think of them as massive computing clusters. The Atlas 950 in 2026 will link together over 8,000 AI processors. The Atlas 960 in 2027, 15,500 processors in one system. So chip for chip, Nvidia might still have the edge. But Huawei is saying, we don't need to beat you one to one. We'll just scale our system so wide that at the cluster level, we can match or even surpass your performance. Now think about how significant that is. Two years ago, people said Huawei was finished. No access to 5G chips, no access to advanced lithography, no way forward. Yet they shocked the world with the Mate 60 Pro smartphone, built on their own silicon, their own 5G modem, and now, They've done the same in AI. This roadmap is Huawei putting a flag in the ground and saying, we're not going anywhere. In fact, we're going to compete head to head with Nvidia and we're going to do it on our own terms. And let's be clear, this isn't just a business move. This is about technological sovereignty. China can't rely on the US for its future. So it's building everything itself, chips, memory, interconnects the whole ecosystem and last week was the proof that they're succeeding and here's the irony u.s sanctions were supposed to stop this they were supposed to cripple huawei and keep china out of the ai race but instead they've actually accelerated innovation inside huawei and inside china by cutting off access the u.s forced huawei and other chinese companies to innovate faster to collaborate deeper and to make sure they had domestic alternatives for every critical technology so while the u.s still has an advantage chip for chip the overall picture is that sanctions have not stopped huawei they've just made huawei more determined and maybe even more dangerous to u.s chip dominance so make no mistake this announcement from Huawei is huge. It proves they're not just surviving, they're thriving. And it sends a very clear message to the rest of the world. Don't underestimate China's ability to innovate under pressure. So what do you think? Is Huawei about to give Nvidia a run for its money? Or do you think the US still holds the cards? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of this. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. And for now, as always, Take care.